Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula is asking investigative agencies to probe the Bungoma County government of alleged loss of more than 100 million shillings through impressed claims. The Senator also wants investigations done of an alleged illegal award of a tender for the construction of Kandui Stadium. KTN's Willy Lusige has more details for us. And as the year comes to a close, Senator Moses Masika Wetangula came out guns blazing of what he called corruption at the Bungoma County government. Addressing the media early Sunday, Wetangula urged investigative agencies, including the DPP and Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, to probe alleged embezzlement of monies running into millions of shillings. We have uh, cases that are under investigations in, in Bungoma. We have questions that don't have answers. My own county, where my party is the government, nobody is above the law. Everybody will be subjected to due process. And any governor found with his hand in the till must be dealt with as a common criminal. Wetangula also pointed out that some individuals within Bungoma County government had not accounted for their impressed forms worth more than 100 million Kenyan shillings. He also cited illegal awards of contracts, particularly on the construction of Masinde Mulero Stadium in Kandui. Huge figures, about over 100 million uh, unsurrendered impressed. These are the figures I've been seeing from audits. And uh, if they are true, and I don't think the auditor is lying, then something is wrong somewhere. We have the case uh, that you guys have been carrying about uh, the stadium and how the assets of the stadium were disposed of. It's a matter under investigation. Uh, we have uh, continuing cases of uh, proxy uh, contractors in the county. To encourage you, the media, that uh, the more you dig out and expose some of these things to the public, the better it helps in uh, warning, naming, and shaming those who are participating in vices of corruption. Speaking on political matters, Wetangula, who is also a former minority leader at the Senate, suggested that the Building Bridges Initiative report be finalized before April next year, noting that it should not be linked to the 2022 succession politics. The implementation of the BBI report uh, does not go beyond Easter 2020. So that by about ma end of March, April, we should have a roadmap from whether they're technical teams or uh, any other interested uh, parties to lay down the roadmap so that BBI implementation does not drag. The senator who was speaking at his Namuyemba home in Bungoma town regretted that the judiciary was being underfunded leading to reduced hearings by the court of appeal in the counties. He added that the delay in the appointment of Auditor General was giving a window for graft to rear its ugly head in public institutions. If we really want to fight corruption, then the machinery that fights corruption must be made to function optimally including the judiciary. Willie Lusige, KTN News in Bungoma County. It's not taking you to the